Hey guys, the Beautylish gift card event is here. It starts today at 9 a.m. Pacific uh, Daylight Savings Time and uh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm always excited to do this video, give you my uh, best recommendations. On Sunday, I posted like my favorite makeup brushes and kind of hinted that this event was coming up. So if you are looking for brush recommendations, which Beautylish has just one of the best assortment of brushes, definitely check out that video. I'll link it down below. Um, I talk a lot <laughs> about brushes. I love brushes. I think that video is about 45 minutes, but I think it's well worth your time, especially if you're looking to invest in brushes or you've never really known like the ins and outs of brushes. Not that I get too deep, but I talk, I talk a lot about them. Anyway, let's talk about some of my favorite um, makeup, skincare, hair care, Beautylish has some of the best uh, brands out there and they are exclusive to a lot of my favorite brands as well. And we all know that the Sephora VIB sale is coming up soon. I believe that's coming like mid-April. So what I like to do in these uh, Beautylish gift card event recommendations videos is recommend products that you can't find at uh, Sephora. And you'd think that'd be its smallest. It's not. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna go by brand because it's just easier for me to kind of like wrangle all of my recommendations. Otherwise I will go way off. So we're gonna start with, uh, let's start with By Terry because that's like the first thing that I put on today. Uh, by Terry is uh, one of my favorite brands and they have uh, some of my like holy grail all time favorite makeup products like one of those makeup products that I would run out and get if my, all my makeup were to disappear. Um, and one of those products is the Brightening CC Serum. Now they just extended the shade range a few months ago. I did a whole video on it, I was so excited. And a lot of the shades have been sold out, not surprisingly, because this is not only a beautiful skincare product, it is a gorgeous um, serum. It just, it's such a versatile product. I was gonna say it's a wonderful like, highlighter, but I actually use it as primer. It's a really glowy primer. Um, you can use it by itself. If you just kind of want to even out your skin tone, give yourself like a really beautiful radiance, it's, it's a great product for that. If you want to use it as highlighter, it's wonderful for that as well. So today I use shade Peach Glow, which is 2.75. This is one of their newer shades. I use this as my primer. I like this and there's another new shade that I really enjoy, Sienna Light. I like that when I'm tanner because that one really gives me quite a glow and it's a little bit too stark right now. Like I'd have to really bring it down <laughs> if I wanted to make it look natural. But Peach Glow is gorgeous. So that's what I have on as primer today. It just, yeah, it just evens out my skin tone. You know, peach really kind of eradicates any sort of like bluish purple tones that you may have in your uh, in your skin. So uh, veiny bits, if you have any discoloration on your eyes that have like a blue purplish lean to them, you wanna use something peach. And I highly recommend this. These products have a very strong rose scent. It does dissipate. I can still smell it on my face. And I happen to really like the By Terry rose scent, rose fragrance, but I know it bothers some. So I do always wanna mention that. It's there, it's definitely there. So uh, anyway, I really love this product. The serum itself has like a thin kind of texture. It absorbs beautifully. It wears beautifully underneath foundation, which is how I'm wearing it today. And like I said, you can wear it alone. I also have an older shade which is I believe shade number two. This one has lost all of its labeling. There's one that's more white. This one has like a pinkish tinge to it. And I actually use this on top of my makeup, on top of powder products or whatever as highlight. So I have that at the tops of my cheeks here and it works beautifully over powder products. It doesn't lift any powder up. It just kind of becomes one with it. So really, really gorgeous product. Absolutely love all of those. I feel like I have found a purpose for every single shade. <laughs> and I think there's like eight or nine shades now. Um, I just love them all. I used to love, love, love Sunny Flash. I still love Sunny Flash. But that one is, has like a, like a little bit of a cooler tone versus Sienna Light. So it actually makes me look even tanner, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I love them all. I will find a purpose for all of these shades. They're all gorgeous, but I think for this springtime, this kind of like winter going into spring, I'm really enjoying Peach Glow. It's giving me a little bit of something without too much, and this is a great highlight. Okay, I'm gonna move to the next brand because I've talked about By Terry a lot before in my recommendations videos, and if you've seen any of them, you've seen me talk about a lot of their products. So I'm just gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to Sisley. Sisley is one of those brands where I love their makeup, 
I love their skincare, and I love their hair care. They are like one of those brands that has become like a one-stop shop for me. And I can't say that for a lot of brands. Yeah, I just, I love everything about them. So let me start with some makeup products. And I'm gonna start with what is on my lips. These are, and I've talked about these a lot, these are the Fido Lip Twists. I have uh, shades 24 and one um, in my hands right now. 24 is a newer shade and it has been out of stock in and out of stock for so long because it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous nude shade. This is what it looks like in the bullet. Um, and it is in stock, at least the last time I checked, it is in stock on um, Beautylish. And these are basically like stick balms. They're like balmy glosses. So there is a light medium level of pigmentation. They're super comfortable lips. You can see it leaves this really nice kind of glaze over my lips. And then here's number one, which is nude and it is cooler toned. So here's what it looks like in the stick. And then as a comparison, this one is nude and this one is 24. So these are my two favorite uh, or most worn shades. I also love seven, which is like a really bright coral, but I definitely wear these a lot more because as you can tell, they're just, Nude, easy, if I just wanna add just a little something to my lips, these are perfect. Um, the nude is cooler. Um, and this one, the number 24, I've been just, I don't know, I've just been reaching for more than the one. I think because it gives my whole face like a little bit more color, which I need these days. So I uh, wanted to recommend those again because I just love them so much. And then I also wanted to mention their pressed powder. This is their Fito, Poudre Compact, I'm sure I'm slaughtering it, um, but it is their powder that comes in this compact. Now I use shade two as just a regular you know, setting powder. As I talk about all the time, I prefer loose powders. However, pressed powder, I, I just can't deny their practicality. They're just easier to travel with, just easier to use, faster, less messy, all the things. So when I go for a pressed powder, I usually reach for the Sisley pressed powder. It is so, so beautiful. It leaves your skin with just like a really beautiful kind of like satin sheen. Uh, not not glowy, uh, highlighted anyway, but just like a really soft satin sheen so that your skin doesn't look dry and matte. Um, but what I rarely talk about or demonstrate for you guys is the shade number four, which is bronze. And that is actually what I have on as bronzer today. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, their shade number four is a wonderful bronzer. It is just a very neutral tone. It's not too orangey, it's not too gray. It's really, really lovely, and I love this powder. It just blends beautifully. It's just very straightforward. It's very, very easy to use, and I love it. So wanted to mention that as well in terms of makeup for Sicily. And of course, there's a ton of other makeup that I can mention for Sicily, but I just wanna move over to their skincare and their hair care because it's a lot. Oh, and their body care. Okay, I have a lot of stuff in a bag that I'm pulling out right now because I had to bring it all downstairs from my... <laughs> from my bathroom upstairs. And because I'm talking about skincare and everything, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wow. Okay, so at the risk of sounding very repetitive, I'm going to mention their um, Sislier Essential Skincare Lotion. I probably mention this in every single either Sisley video or Beautylish <laughs> recommendations video. I love this Essential Skincare Lotion. It is the product that I use after I cleanse and after I tone, if I tone that day, um, I will use this product. Now, it is a very thin texture lotion, so it's not like a, a moisturizer in any way, but what it does is it kind of paves the way for the rest of your skincare. The rest of your skincare will go on and be absorbed and just sit on your skin so beautifully if you use this. I have made the mistake of starting to use this thinking, okay, it's nice. I don't know if it's making any difference or whatever. Traveling without it or going away without it or doing without it for whatever reason and realizing that like, oh wow, that really, really makes a difference. And now I do not travel without this. I have like a little Sisley bottle that was like a sample of this. It's long been empty, but I like sit there and I fill it up before I leave on every single trip. It's something I cannot do without. So I'm actually gonna place an order 
today at nine o'clock for all the things that I want. And this is definitely going into, <laughs> into the basket because I am pretty low. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like down to here. I'm pretty low there. So I definitely need to get another one. The next thing I want to mention from Sisley is one of their serums. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you have seen me go through, I think two or three bottles of this serum. It is their Pure Bright Activating Serum. And this is something I like to pull out around this time or uh, even maybe a little bit later during the year because during the summertime, I will start to get like a little bit blotchy, a little redness here and there. And if I use this serum, it just, it keeps my skin tone really, really even. So this is a serum, like I said, like I like to use at this time of the year because it just keeps things like under control. So I love, love that serum, highly recommend. Future Michelle here. I realized there was a really important Sisley product that I wanted to mention and just completely forgot. It is the Ecological Compound. This is their new advanced formula. They sent this to me, Sisley sent this to me. I was trying some other skincare, so I actually have not used this in a couple of weeks or so. Um, but when I was using it after they sent it to me, I did use it pretty consistently. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous moisturizer. I love this, especially for the upcoming warmer months because it does have a slightly thinner texture than a lot of the moisturizers I use because I have such dry skin. And when I start slathering on uh, SPF, it's important to have a really effective moisturizer, but with a thinner texture. And this is perfection. This is the perfect moisturizer for the warmer months. So I just wanted to mention this. I can't believe I forgot to mention it during the video, but the ecological compound for sure. Okay. Now in terms of some body care, again, because we're going into the warmer months, I wanted to mention some things that I think of specifically when we're gonna be showing a little bit more skin. Um, and this is one product. This is their Energizing Foaming Exfoliant for the Body with Essential Oils of Lavender and Rosemary. This is a really effective exfoliator. It's pretty strong and it's really, really uh, thick. I don't know if that gives you any idea <laughs> what's on the tube there. It's really thick and I love using this before I'm gonna self tan because it also doesn't really leave like like an oily film or anything like that. It leaves my skin feeling really clean, really scrubbed down. Um, and speaking of self tan, I have the Sisley body tanner and the Sisley face tanner. I happen to really, really love both of these tanners because they're colorless and they also don't leave my skin super tan. It's just this nice, hint. You know, it just feel like uh, I'm putting on face lotion, I'm putting on body lotion, and it's just giving me a little hint of color. So if you are looking for like a deep bronze, this is not for you. But if you just want a little something, just something to make your skin look like it's come out of winter, <laughs> you look healthy, you are not a shut-in like I am. Um, you're not a shut-in, you do go outside. Uh, this is the bronzer for you. It's just really, really gentle. And like I said, it's colorless. So I feel like once it's absorbed into my skin, I can just put clothing on. It's not a big deal. It doesn't stain anything. Um, and this uh, body um, tanner comes with a mitt, which is really nice. And yeah, I love, love, love this. This is probably like my third bottle each of these. And it's definitely time for me to start applying this. I have really got, maybe the past few years, really gotten into uh, paying a little bit more attention on my body skin. Usually it's like all the attention is like right here and then I'll use whatever on my body. Never thought about it. But that that's important skin too. And even though it's a little bit less delicate than our face, um, it doesn't show signs of aging quite as quickly because it's thicker than our face, it does start to thin out. And I'm definitely getting to that age where I'm like, Ugh, I really have to start paying more attention to my body skin. And this has been really, really wonderful. If you like the Black Rose products for your face, you're really gonna love this for the skin. It has a really nice, soft, yeah, soft like uh, Sisley Black Rose fragrance, which is really, really fresh. It's very, very light. The texture of this lotion is very, very silky. It's not too thick. It's not just gonna sit on your skin and you're gonna have to wait years to put clothing on. It is very, very moisturizing and oh, it just feels so good. It's cooling even, it's very nice, very, very nice. So I've really been enjoying uh, this particular lotion and it is 
just so important now that, you know, I'm getting older and now that the weather's getting warmer and more of my skin is gonna be showing, it's really important for me to have like a really nice uh, body lotion. So I highly recommend this. And then in terms of hair, you guys know how much I love the Sisley hair care line. It's the um, Hair Ritual by Sisley. I continue to use the Cream 230. If you guys watch my vlogs and I'm doing my hair, you will always or probably see me apply this to my hair before I blow it dry. So this is basically like the heat protectant that I use. It also just keeps my hair feeling like nice and moisturized and soft. And then what I've been starting to use a little bit more of is their Precious Hair Care Oil. This I just, you know, kind of like add to like the ends of my hair. As you, it's obvious I don't dye my hair. So my gray hairs are coming out and those hairs um, are getting coarser and coarser <laughs> as the time goes by. And it's really helped my gray hairs kind of just be a little bit more manageable, a little bit more pliable, softer, just all around nicer. So I've really been enjoying the Precious Hair Care Oil. Again, the, none of these things are new. I've mentioned and recommended these products quite often. But something uh, new from Sisley, from their Hair Ritual line that I just started using, you guys are gonna laugh at me, but this is their paddle brush. And I, I'm not a hair brusher. I usually just kind of finger comb my hair. Um, maybe I'll take, sometimes I'll take like a round brush to like blow it out, but that's really the extent of it. I, um, I've had some flat paddle brushes in the past. Um, I use those on occasion, like the, like the Mason Pearson ones, but I really am not like a hair brusher. Now over the past couple of years, I have really gotten into like scalp, care. And you guys know I love the Sisley um, Scalp Serum. I mentioned that a lot, so I didn't bring that down again. Um, I'll use scalp scrubs. There's actually a scalp scrub that I'm going to mention a little bit from a different uh, brand. And uh, yeah, some, I don't know. I just got to talking with someone and they were like, oh, well, if you love like scalp massages, like what brush do you use? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't brush my hair. And they were flabbergasted. They were like, oh my God, you have to get, get a nice hairbrush. And like when you brush your hair, just like really get into your scalp. And I was like, okay. So I got, this is amazing. This is like such a good scalp massaging uh, hairbrush. And I like it because, you know, it's spaced out. So it doesn't, I don't feel like it's ripping out my hair. There's like the soft tip. There's like a slight amount of give, but not as much as a lot of other brushes. So you really get a nice kind of like firm scalp massage if you run this over uh, your scalp. And I think that's like the difference with this uh, brush that I've used versus other ones, other ones that have like a lot more give, where this is almost like a, like an air-filled pillow underneath. Um, those have a, a much softer effect on the scalp. So if you like like a, like a head scratching or a scalp massage, I think you'll really love this brush. Yeah, it's kind of been life-changing. Again, I feel silly talking about it, but it's, it, yeah, it's just been, it's been so good. And I, I don't know why I haven't been brushing my hair this whole time, but yeah. I've started brushing my hair. So love this brush from Sisley. Okay, let's move on to the next brand I wanna talk about, which is Kogendo. Now Kogendo is carried at Sephora, but they have a very limited selection. And I love this cleansing spa water from Kogendo. I have been using this as my makeup remover for years. I wanna say we're going on like probably more than a decade. And it's, it's just the most gentle yet effective makeup remover ever created. Hands down, I say that with full confidence. This is incredible. I don't think they have like the giant size at Sephora, which is the one I generally like to go for, It's which is not this. This one is the medium size. I know they have a smaller one which uh, for travel, but they have larger sizes with like a pump. I would definitely invest in the larger size, which again, I think Beautylish has, but Sephora doesn't. Um, so I wanted to mention this because it's wonderful. The makeup wipes that they have for this, also really, really great. And one of my favorite foundations is the Kogendo Moisture Foundation, and they don't have this at Sephora, but whatever, you can get it at Beautylish. So here is the Moisture Foundation, just comes in a nice petite tube, and this is 20 grams, 0.7 ounces, and I have shade 113 on. I have two shades, 113 and 123. 123 I will wear when I get a you know, little bit more of a tan, um, but this one is great for my winter skin, we'll call it that. Um, this is again what I have on my face today and it's it's a long lasting 
light, medium, perfecting foundation. There's just something really, really special about this foundation. I do have powder on over it, um, but it has just a glorious, glorious uh, finish. It goes on beautifully. The texture is creamy. It feels like skincare. And like I said, it's long lasting, so I don't feel like it wears away strangely. It has like uh, a very buildable um, coverage. So if you don't want a lot of coverage, just put on just less. If you want to build it up, just put on a little bit more. Like it's a very straightforward, easy to use foundation that leaves your skin completely flawless. And uh, this Kogendo line was created by a Japanese actress. So longevity is very, very important when you're on the set. Um, it not breaking down under lights and heat is very important as well. And just like the, having the perfect finish. So most um, on-camera photography type high flash kind of bright light kind of uh, makeup generally doesn't have any uh, reflect or radiance to it. So this just has like a really beautiful natural skin like finish. It's just gorgeous. So I want you to mention the moisture foundation. It's really wonderful. And another product that I've been using for what feels like years is the Kogendo Natural Lighting Powder. I have recommended this endlessly as well. This is the powder, loose powder that I have on today. And this leaves your skin, much like the Sicily press powder, just leaves your skin with just the slightest like soft satin finish where it makes your skin look really, really creamy, which I think is hard to achieve when it comes to a powder. So it doesn't just set your makeup down. It doesn't just kind of mattify anything that's too shiny. It really just adds a gorgeous like sheen and finish to your skin. It's beautiful. So this is the natural lining powder from Kogan Do. Um, and I think that's it for Kogan Do. I'm gonna move on to Surat. So Surat just came out with skincare for the very first time. I was so excited. And of course, he knocked it out of the park. So this is the Hinoki Cleansing Oil, and this is the Hinoki Face Mist. I love this face mist. You can see that I've used it quite a bit. The cleansing oil is very, very effective, very gentle. It's, it's, it's an oil, so it has like a really thin texture. It just, like I said, it's very effective, but I take like a damp uh, washcloth. Again, if you watch my vlogs, I'm sure you've seen me use it. And I just wipe it away. It doesn't leave like a really kind of oily, thick film behind, which even though I have dry skin, I just don't like, especially when I'm in the cleansing process of my uh, skincare routine. I don't really like anything kind of left behind. And even though this is an oil, I just whoop, like a quick wipe and my skin just feels clean, clean of makeup, clean of the cleanser, just, oh, it's so wonderful. It's like such a great, great texture. And then this face mist, if you like the scent of Hinoki, you will really like this. And Hinoki, I believe, is a Japanese pine tree. And so it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't smell floral and it doesn't smell fresh per se, but it doesn't smell like woody. It's like in between. It's really kind of herbaceous and um, earthy and it's really wonderful and it's very, very unique. So been really loving these products from Surat. Also, I just wanted to mention a couple things from his makeup line. You guys know how much I love um, the Surat makeup line, but there are a couple of eyeshadows I wanted to mention because I mentioned an eyeshadow in one of my videos where I was kind of playing around with a lot of Surat products and the color of the eyeshadow I was using was discontinued. And I was like, oh man, I think it was this one. Vison, V-I-S-O-N. So we're not even, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna talk about all of the other shades that I really, really enjoy using. Brun Noir is one. You guys have definitely seen me uh, use this as eyeliner. The Surat eyeshadows are great, great, great as eyeliner. Cause you can actually use them wet as well, which I don't do. Um, but because these are created with a very, uh, it is a unique and exclusive uh, formula to Surat Beauty. It's a, it's like a slurry process. And so these are kind of like baked shadows. Anyway, they, they're they great as like a liner because there's not a lot of fallout and they're just very, very inky. Um, they're great. So anyway, Brun Noir is one. Um, Truff is another. Truff is just a little bit lighter than Brun Noir. And then Haute Chocolat is this really warm brown with a metallic sheen. So here are the three, here's Brun Noir, here is Truff, 
And here is Haute Chocolat. So I love these deep browns. They're just really gorgeous. And then the one shade that I love to wear just all over the lid and maybe add one of those deeper brown colors on the outer corners or just wear this all by itself is Zybeline. I really have to figure out how to pronounce this. Z-I-B-E-L-I-N-E. -E. And let me do a swatch of this. I'll swatch it next to the Haute Chocolat. So there is the Zybeline. Oh, but look at those four shades. Just gorgeous. Also, if you're interested in just, you know, not really having to think about it, because these are sold by singles, if you want like a curated palette, the Beyond Beige palette is absolutely gorgeous. I think personally, at least on my skin tone and the way my skin reacts to products, because this happens quite a bit, it runs a bit warmer than it looks, I think, than it looks in all the pictures that I've seen of the Beyond Beige, or even if you just look at the palette like in real life. But if you like that, if you kind of like like a copper tinge to a lot of your browns, I think you're gonna really, really like the Beyond Beige quad. So that is a really gorgeous one. And all of their artistic blushes, I highly recommend. As you guys know, I think I have every single one of their shades. They're just fun, they're gorgeous. It's really the formula that is so beautiful. And um, I feel like his artistic eyeshadows and blushes are powder products that turn into cream, like they just really melt into your skin. What else from Surat did I wanna mention? The Dew Drop Foundation, of course. This is one of my all time, probably number one foundations. It's a very um, light coverage. You can build it up, but it's, it's pretty much a light coverage, light medium coverage foundation. It has like a serum kind of texture. It's like a little bit on the thinner side, but the finish, the finish is so gorgeous. And I've spoken to people with very oily skin types who've tried this, who really love it as well. I have very dry skin. So this is just a wonderful foundation, but the finish is, um, there's like a little bit of radiance to it, but it's not, it doesn't just make you look shiny or, or oily or, you know, just sweaty. <laughs> it just has this uh, sort of like reflect to it that just looks very, very filtering. It is Gorgeous. I really cannot say enough good things about this foundation. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. Oh, also their Noir Lash Tint. This is the newest mascara from Surat. It's not new at all, but it is newest and it has this wand on it. So it's like a bristleless wand. Um, it just has like threading on it, which is what kind of catches the product. And it's great. It's great. I think it goes on much more easily. I always feel like I'm kind of poking myself or making a mess with those bristles, especially like if it's a big, big bristle wand. Um, so this one just sort of alleviates that problem. And I really, really like that because I don't have really long lashes. So like when I have like big bristles, I just feel like I'm just kind of like touching. <laughs> touching my lashes with those big bristles. So this has been really, really great for me. Uh, it just sort of like paints each individual lash. So it's a separating um, type of mascara. It's lengthening, but it also keeps the curl of my lashes, which is what I desperately need. I have very, very straight, downward growing lashes, um, and that keeps my uh, lashes curled. Um, I don't have it on today because I have another mascara to mention, which is uh, very similar. It has a very similar effect to the Surat Noir Lash. And I think that's it for Surat. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Let me just actually check the site here. Oh, his brushes are phenomenal, but I do mention a few in my brush video. Okay, I think that's it. So let's move on to Orbe. Now Orbe is at Sephora, um, but there are a couple of things that Beautylish has from the Orbe line that Sephora does not have. So one is probably my most used hair product ever, and that's the Orbe Rock Hard Gel. If ever you see me with my hair back, I have this in my hair. It's the only thing that tames my really stubborn baby hairs in the front here. Otherwise they just stick up, you can see. They just kind of do their own thing in the front here. And if I wanna have like a slick back look, I have to use a really strong gel. This is the only one that doesn't flake. It doesn't do anything weird. It doesn't smell weird. It doesn't, um, yeah, it just doesn't behave strangely after I've put it in and after my hair has like been in that bun for a while. And in fact, if I, I don't wash my hair at night, I wash it in the morning. So I go to sleep with it in and it's, it's fine. Again, no flaking. It's not like you crunch the hair and all this like gel flake comes out. No, no, it is 
really, really wonderful. And I believe it's water-based, so it washes out really easily too. So that is definitely a plus. And then the other thing I wanted to mention, and this kind of goes hand in hand with what I was talking about uh, with the Sicily brush, I decided to try like a fancy comb. <laughs> now, this would make, I think, a beautiful gift for a hair lover in your life. It is just gorgeous. I could not resist this like beautiful patterning. And I was checking it out on uh, the Beautylish site and they talk about how this is like a very environmentally friendly resin, I believe. So anyway, I thought, wow, this is so great. So again, when it comes to my hair and my scalp or whatever, I've been, and my body, my body skin, I've been taking or trying to take better care of it. So I've been using more like hair masks or whatever. And I, I've realized like I needed to have a comb. Did I need an Orbe fancy comb? No, but I loved this so much. Again, I just love the patterning and I just, you know, I feel like when I buy myself something special, I am m definitely more inclined to use it. So when I use hair masks, which isn't too often, I wanna say at most like once every couple of weeks, I was just kind of like clumping it into my hair and then just sort of tying my hair up. I wasn't like combing it through. And also when my hair is wet, I wasn't really combing it out either. Um, I was using a brush or just my fingers. And you know, when your hair is wet, it's so fragile, it breaks so easily, um, especially if you use a brush that's too rough or if I'm just like tugging at my hair. So I was like, I really, again, I really need to take better care of my hair, blah, blah, blah. And so I got this and I really, I really love it. <laughs> I really, really love it. Again, I just think it's so beautiful and I think it would make a really beautiful gift for someone in your life. It's just gorgeous. I, I, I think it's, yeah, I just think it's really cool. And it's, you know, it's a lovely comb. I love it. <laughs> okay, a few random stragglers here. So Suzanne Kaufman, you guys know how much I love this line of uh, skincare, body care, um, generally body care. She does have skincare um, and I've only used like a couple of things and not even that consistently. So I don't really have a strong opinion on her skincare, but her body care is glorious. It's gorgeous. So this is actually a scalp and body scrub. This is such a, oh, I just love it. It smells so fresh and so clean. It has little bits in there that are different sizes. I think the dark ones that you see, I think those may be sesame seeds. I don't know if you can tell how like thick and rich <laughs> this scrub is. Usually I feel like, um, especially scalp, sc scalp scrubs and uh, scrubs that double as scalp or body scrubs, they have kind of like a gooeyness to them. This has just like, almost like a solidified oil, like a balmy solidified oil kind of texture to it, but as soon as you get it wet, it starts to emulsify. And so it really makes it easy to work into the scalp. Um, and it's also just such a pleasure to use on the body. It's like my new favorite um, scalp scrub for sure. Body scrub, it's probably up there. There's a few that I uh, use that I really, really love, like the Amora Vixa Gold body scrub. That one's amazing. But this as a scalp scrub is great because it rinses out easily. I've used some great scalp scrubs, but they take a bit to, to rinse out. This one is wonderful. I just love it. I love it so much and it just smells so great. So that's the Suzanne Kaufman Refining Scalp and Body Scrub. And then I just did a video of the Cure Weiss, the beautiful hydrating serum. It was a sponsored video. This is not a sponsored video. Um, it was a sponsored video and I talk about how much this serum has I think improved the health of my skin, not just made it look and feel nice, but I really feel like it's improved the health of my skin. And I just wanted to mention it again because this is not sponsored content. Um, and I, I really love this serum. I've been using it nonstop ever since I started testing it. This is a serum that I've been going for. It's just beautiful. So I uh, wanted to mention that. It's really great for moisture. Um, it has great moisturizing benefits. Have this one Jo Malone cologne. This is the Moonlit Chamomile. I love I love chamomile tea. <laughs> so I just love chamomile and I was just really intrigued by this. And this is something that Sephora doesn't carry either. This was on Beautylish, uh, but not on Sephora. And I thought Moonlit Chamomile, that's gotta be, I don't know, I'm just sort of envisioning this like transition between winter and spring, just when things start to bloom, the days start to get a little bit longer. It just seemed like the right fragrance, at least the way it sounded. So the notes in here are moonflower, chamomile, and white musk. And I think, 
I think it's the white musk that makes this very kind of unisex. It is not very, even though it has like moonflower, it's not a very flowery kind of, it's not sweet is what I'm trying to say. It is really gorgeous and it's light and they actually have a pillow mist, which I think this would be great, 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 great as a pillow mist. I think my husband would like, cause it's unisex. I think my husband would like it. It's light enough. Oh, it's just, it's really, really beautiful. I love it. And I think I was right. I think this is great for like winter into spring because there is a kind of iciness to this scent, but there's also that white musk, which gives it a little bit of warmth. Like it really is this kind of like nice transition. It kind of starts out icy and then you start to smell a little bit more of the warmth, like the white musk. And then I feel like the chamomile comes in last. Oh, but it's really beautiful and it's light. It's just a cologne. It's really, really light. It's really fresh. Oh, I just really love it. Anyway, that's the Jo Malone Moonlit Cologne. I'm so glad to have discovered this on Beautylish. It's, it's beautiful. So I have some more um, makeup recommendations to make for you. One is from Hindash. Now this is a line that I've only found at Beautylish and I know Hindash is a makeup artist. And so I've been, you know, I actually um, ordered the Beautopsy, Beautopsy? Am I saying that right? The Butopsy palette, where it has all those ombre shades. It's gorgeous. And I think I actually ordered that from Beautylish during a previous gift card event. And I just, I haven't gotten around to use it, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, that's embarrassing. It's like brand new. It's like sitting in one of my drawers. However, I wanted to try one of these uh, liquid eyeshadows. What are these called? Color Fluid? So this is an ultra matte shade that I got in Thorn. And then this is a ultra shimmer shade in Boy Tears. So these are the two eyeshadows that I'm actually wearing today. So I put this on all over my lid. I just dabbed a little bit straight from the doe foot applicator here and then used a brush uh, to just sort of blend it out. And then for the Thorn matte shade, what I did was I put some onto the back of my hand because it is so much deeper. I just wanted like a little bit of depth there. So I put it onto the back of my hand, I picked it up with the brush and then I blended it in. So they are so easy to use, so beautiful. This shade is so beautiful. This would make a great topper over something because it is very, very sheer, but it's beautiful by itself. I love it. So they are pretty much like transfer proof once they set down, but I didn't find them difficult to use. Like sometimes these shadows that set down completely, I feel like it's a race against the clock. Like you have to start blending it out before it sets down. I really didn't have that issue. I thought with the thorn, I was just kind of blending it in, blending it in. So these don't set down super fast, which I think is great. It gives you time uh, to work them out. I would still work one eye at a time. I wouldn't you know, apply onto both and then start blending them out. I would still do one eye at a time, but yeah, they're just really easy to use. And I thought this deep matte shade just blended into the boy tears really, really easily. So I think they have some other colors. So I think I may um, add some to my cart <laughs> uh, later today. So that is something I wanted to mention. I also wanted to mention Chantecai. So Chantecai is at uh, Beautylish and I wanted to recommend their Ultra Sun Protection Primer. I've talked about this nonstop. You can see I've used quite a bit of this tube and this is probably my third or fourth tube, but this is such a great primer. It is also just a great like base product in that it really kind of filters out your skin. It really smooths your skin out. So it does look like you have a little bit of a filter on and the SPF is 45. Um, it's chemical SPF and it's a very thin texture. So you kind of have to shake it up and squeeze it out <laughs> kind of carefully and then just uh, go in with it. But it's a really great primer. It's great by itself. It's just a great SPF. So wanted to mention that. And then I wanted to mention the blush that I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a Chantecai uh, blush. This is the one that comes uh, like in the loose powder form with the brush attached. And I'm always intrigued by this type of packaging that makes it easy uh, to travel with because not that I'm constantly thinking about it, but I really don't like bringing like a lot of my precious makeup with me when I travel because I'm always afraid it's going to break. And then if it breaks in your luggage, like what a mess. So I really like these kind of clever, these clever design packages. So anyway, I was um, really intrigued by this Radiant HD blush, I think is what they call it. 
HD Radiant Blush, and this is in the shade Hope. So you just press down this like plastic protective uh, covering. So it goes up and it goes down. Once it goes down, it kind of um, unlocks the powder. And then what you wanna do is like shake the powder out and then you're gonna see it start to appear at the end of the brush. And then you just start pouncing. So that's what I have on my skin. I'm gonna see if you can see the finish of this because this blush, oh, it's radiant. It has such a beautiful finish. So I'm hoping you guys could see the Radiant Blush, it has this beautiful sheen, really beautiful, almost like the most subtle highlighter you can imagine as a blush. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you're looking for like a different kind of dispenser, again, like traveling or something, this is a really good one. I'm wondering if they're gonna come out with different shades. This is a beautiful pink. It's very neutral. Um, and I think it would work for a lot of different skin tones, but it'd be nice if they came out with something really bright or something deeper. I just think this is great. I really, really love like this gorgeous sheen that it has. It's beautiful. All right, the last thing I wanted to talk about is Wayne Goss. And when I made my makeup brush video, I went onto the Beautylish site just to kind of, you know, see what was in stock. Not that I really wanted that to determine uh, what were my favorite brushes, but, uh, just what was discontinued, because I noticed like Sonia G had started to kind of discontinue some of her brushes. And then I went onto the Wayne Goss page and I noticed that a lot of his brushes weren't even there anymore. Not even, uh, you know, coming soon or returning soon, um, or it didn't even say sold out. So I don't know if Wayne Goss is discontinu discontinuing his brush line or if he's kind of like redoing it and we'll come back. But anyway, um, I didn't want to talk about any of the Wayne Goss brushes because I didn't know what the future holds for them. Um, but I did want to mention one of my favorite mascaras is the Wayne Goss mascara. So this is the waterproof mascara. It's the mascara that I have on today. And this one, uh, much like the Surratt, just, it separates my lashes. It defines each lash. It adds a little bit of length and it holds the curl to my lashes beautifully. There are not a lot of mascaras out there that are able to do that. Again, because my lashes are so coarse, but this keeps the curl to my lashes. This is the wand that it has. So it's a really, really short bristle, plastic bristle wand. It's, it's almost similar uh, to the Syrah in that the bristles are almost non-existent. <laughs> I apparently like that, um, but it just makes my lashes look um, like my lashes, but better, you know, I, I don't have lashes that can really, um, I don't know, withstand like really volumizing mascaras. It turns my like four lashes into one. It just, they, those don't look good on my lashes at all. And then there's some lengthening mascaras that they just, they don't keep the curl. Anyway, these two mascaras and this one, the Wayne Goss especially really, really keeps like the curl and defines each one. It just makes my lashes look very pretty. Um, so I did want to mention that from Wayne Goss. And that is it. I've been talking forever again, but I hope you guys found that helpful. I could have gone on and on, but anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, I will link to everything down below and um, have more details on the gift card event. If it's new to you, I'll have more details down below in the description box. Um, but you basically get a $20 gift card back to Beautylish for every $100 you spend and you'll get the gift card uh, once the gift card event is over. Uh, but anyway, I'll have all of the information down below in my description box. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.